You know that feeling when a phone doesn't just look advanced it feels like it's from the future? That's exactly the kind of shock Samsung is preparing to deliver with the Galaxy S26 Ultra. This isn't just another upgrade. It's Samsung rewriting what a flagship can do, pixel by pixel, chip by chip. And the wild part. The company might have just found a way to make your screen intelligent enough to protect your privacy without you lifting a finger. Yeah, that's not science fiction anymore, it's the kind of AI magic Samsung is quietly building into the S26 Ultra. Hey everyone, Sam here, welcome back to the channel. If you love diving into the latest tech leaks and future innovations before they go mainstream, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon because trust me, this one's going to blow your mind. So here's the thing Samsung's next Ultra is doing something no phone has ever done before. It's introducing what insiders are calling an AI privacy display. In plain English, it means your screen will literally know when someone's snooping. Using AI and something called Flex Magic Pixel technology, Samsung's display adjusts pixel angles in real time, limiting side visibility automatically. Imagine sitting in a crowded cafe and your phone instantly dims from side angles the moment someone glances your way. You won't even notice it happening, but the person next to you will just see a blank blur. Now, here's where it gets cooler. You can fully customize when that feature kicks in. You can set it to auto-enable in public spaces while typing a password or even when you're viewing private content like banking apps or your gallery. It's basically privacy made intelligent and it's optional. No gimmicks, no bulky accessories, just smart display control baked right into the system settings. But let's not stop there. The S26 Ultra's display itself is on another level entirely. Samsung is reportedly using its new M14 old panel with co-color encapsulation technology. In short, it's the most advanced screen ever made by Samsung. It boosts brightness, color depth, and even lifespan. This thing can display over a billion colors each one sharper and more accurate than before. Whether you're gaming in HDR or editing photos outdoors, this display maintains insane clarity and contrast. And it's not just bright, it's smart bright, dynamically adjusting every pixel based on lighting and content. And the fun part, Samsung's shrinking the camera hole too. The punch hole on the S26 Ultra will be so tiny that it almost disappears into the display. You'll barely notice it even in full screen videos. It's the kind of visual polish that makes the entire front look like one seamless slab of glass. But a gorgeous display is only half the story. What's running underneath is where things get seriously exciting. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is powered by a custom-tuned Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 made for Galaxy processor. This chip is using Qualcomm's new Orion CPU architecture, clocked at a jaw-dropping for 0.66 GHz. To put that in perspective, this is faster than most laptops from just two years ago. And the crazy part, it's built on a 3 nanometer process, meaning it's not only blazing fast, but also super efficient, 35% more power efficient than its predecessor. Multitasking, instant gaming, desktop level smooth, video rendering, lightning fast. But the best part is how Samsung integrates AI throughout the experience. Everything from photo processing to battery optimization is now AI driven. Even your phone's temperature control is managed intelligently. If you're gaming for hours, it predicts thermal spikes before they happen and balances CPU performance to keep everything cool without cutting speed. And speaking of AI, the Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just using it behind the scenes, it's making AI feel personal. New Galaxy AI features will now help you write, summarize, translate, and even rephrase messages on the fly. Samsung is reportedly adding a voice clone feature too, allowing your device to read text in your own voice. It's all happening on device so your data never leaves your phone. Now let's talk about that camera setup because Samsung's pulling some big moves here. The main sensor is a 200 megapixel HP to plus, but this time with a wider aperture for better low light shots and faster shutter speeds. That means fewer blurry photos, richer night colors, and sharper HDR captures. 
Alongside that, you'll get a 50MP5X telephoto lens, a 12MP3X lens, and a 50MP ultrawide. Samsung's focusing on image consistency this year so all lenses deliver matching tones, brightness, and color accuracy. Early camera samples leaked online show stunning detail even in low light zooms. But here's where things take a twist. Multiple insiders claim that Samsung's entire S26 lineup, including the base and plus models, has been pushed back to March, originally planned for February. The delay apparently comes from last minute changes to the lineup. Samsung reportedly scrapped the S to 6 Edge and instead restarted development on the S26 and S26 Plus from scratch. It's rare for Samsung to hit pause this late in the cycle, so this delay likely means something big is changing behind the scenes, possibly design or chip strategy, and about that chip strategy Samsung's once again going dual chip. But not in the same way as before. Some regions will get the Exynos 2600, others the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. Sounds familiar, right? Except this time, Samsung's taking no chances. The Exynos 2600 is built on a 2 nanometer process, and its neural processing unit NPU is set to be 30% faster than Snapdragon's, and up to 6x faster than Apple's. A 19 Pro, the GPU is rumored to outperform Snapdragon by 29% and Apple by a massive 75%. It's no longer the underdog, it's the chip Samsung. Belize can finally erase the old Exynos versus Snapdragon. Debate for good dot to keep things cool literally Samsung's. Added a new vapor chamber cooling system. It's 1.5 times larger than the one inside the S25 Ultra, ensuring consistent performance even during 4K video recording or extended gaming sessions. Pair that with 6OW fast charging. And the S26 Ultra is shaping up to be a powerhouse that refuses to compromise. Here's another subtle but genius move Samsung's making one UI 8.5 feel more human. Instead of just adding flashy features, it's refining every detail. The animations are smoother, the widgets are smarter, and the customization goes deeper than ever. You'll be able to sync wallpapers and themes with your Galaxy Watch. AI will auto-organize your home screen, and even notifications will adapt to your habits now. For those wondering about the battery Samsung's sticking with its proven 5,000 mAh cell, but combined with that new 3 nanometers efficiency, expect a real jump in endurance. Early tests suggest up to 2 extra hours of screen on. Time compared to the S25 Ultra, that's a big deal considering. This device is running brighter screens and faster chips, but here's the real question will the Galaxy S26 Ultra be worth the wait? On paper, absolutely. Between its AI privacy display, 200MP camera, dual chip power, and refined design, it's one of Samsung's boldest flagships ever. Yet the March delay hints that Samsung wants perfection before launch and that could actually be a good thing, because let's be honest, Samsung knows the world is watching. Apple's iPhone 17 lineup is looming, and every tech fan is waiting to see who'll dominate the AI smartphone era. With the S26 Ultra, Samsung isn't just trying to compete, it's trying to own the conversation. So, whether you're hyped for the AI powered display, the revamped Exynos chip, or that 200MP beast of a camera, this phone's shaping up to be something special. It's not about specs anymore, it's about smarts refinement, and control. Samsung's blending power and intelligence in a way that actually feels futuristic, not forced, and that's the thing this phone might just be the moment where smartphones stop feeling like tools and start feeling like partners that think with you. The Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just the next step, it's the next mindset. So, what do you think? Is Samsung finally ahead of the curve, or do you still think they've got something to prove? Drop your thoughts below. I read every comment. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video if you found it interesting, and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of tech. I'm Sam, signing off. See you in the next one.